Yes, sir. I will describe it as a glorious ending. Whatever has a beginning must have an end. Today, the proceedings in terms of hearing or the petition filed by Waziri Atiku Abubakar and the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, against INEC, against Bola Ahmed Tinibu, and against the APC has come to an end. We were able to call, that is Atiku and PDP were able to call 27 witnesses. Some of them expert witnesses, star witnesses. In proof of our case, we tendered a deluge of documents which were all admitted and marked as exhibits in spite of strenuous opposition by the respondents. On the other hand, the reverse side of the coin is that INEC, on whom the burden of holding elections should actually lie as to whether the elections were free and fair, called only one witness. Secondly, the second respondent, Tenebu himself, only called one witness, Senator Michael Bamidele Okbeyemi, who yesterday was elected as a majority leader of the Senate. As to the strength or weakness of his evidence, that will be left to the tribunal. But the important thing is that we did grill him through the furnace of the fire to show that the evidence he gave was not credible and to show that the documents he tendered, particularly the report on the FCT, as a symbol of status and as a fountain of unity of the country, which they themselves tendered, was actually in favor of the petitioners, who were also able to enlist from the witness that of all the presidential candidates since 1999, none except Nebu was in a position that he did not score 25%. All of them scored 25% and over, except Nebu who had 90 point something percent. All these things were put in evidence today. I think we have run a good race. The judgment belongs to this distinguished and honorable Court of Appeal, which is the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, to do justice to the case which has been witnessed by the whole world.